pre-recorded live. So if I'm answering questions, etc., and I'm not responding to you, that is why. Um, I'm making this dress onesie pattern from Brindle and Twig. I don't remember the name, but kids sleep and I need a minute for myself and sewing is that minute. So here we go. Um, I've already cut out quite a bit of it, but I figured why not keep going. Hey Rochelle, how's it going? How's everybody doing? Um, hi Alyssa, Aslan, hi Kat. I feel like my friends are here hanging out with me. <laughs> um, so I ordered some of the cotton lycra in this new print that's coming out in March. This will be available March 1st. So we finally figured out fabrics. It came in today and we cut as much as we had. And the three prints that were available, yes, here, hi. So I'll show you all the prints really quick, really quick. Um, COVID appropriate, so yeah. Hi, Jen. Um, so fabrics for February 1st, 10 a.m. are the poison apple. This is totally different than before. I mean, not totally different, but the background is different. So if you haven't had it before, um, the other print coming out is this one again. This might be the last time we've run it for a hot minute, just to let you know. And then the flying keys. And this is kind of a different background than before. The reason I never do pre-orders is because the background color could look different anytime. Like, and there's no point in being like, it's not perfect. I don't want it. You know what I mean? So we just have fun with it. So that's the three for February 1st. And then March 1st is this really fun. Okay. So my parents' kitchen, um, at one point they painted the walls bright yellow and then I helped my dad install bright blue countertops so this is kind of like a an homage to my parents kitchen I don't know um we're returning this watercolor floral and then I just I had to so this one is a Rapunzel inspired Pascal I've run the Pascal before but I changed up the background so that's March 1st at 10 a.m so You've gotten a sneak peek. You've seen it all. Isn't it so pretty? I love it. <laughs> um, but just to give you guys an idea, this is the vinyl that's going to be kind of available. And you can see the colors are completely different. These are different suppliers, but yeah. So there's going to be just a few rolls of the vinyl, and that'll be both 10 a.m.s as well first month, second month. I ordered a bunch for myself and I was like, who am I kidding? I'm not going to sew through this ever in my life. So, um, but hopefully when I have more space, we'll be able to offer vinyl like all the time. That's the goal. We'll see. We'll figure it out. Um, and even cotton lycra, I would love to offer cotton lycra all the time. It's just so much space we don't have. <laughs> Anyway, so I apologize if I miss a comment. I want to get this cut out and sewn as quickly as possible, and I only have, like, an hour. I love the vinyl, yeah, with the more tan. It's kind of fun. I designed it to be bright yellow, but when I got the tan, I was like, I don't hate this. So, um, the Pascal will not be available in vinyl. Um, oh, yeah, avocado pajama pants. I look incredible. <laughs> um, yeah, that one won't be available in vinyl. I apologize. Um, no, I'm making this super cute, like onesie skirted thing. I made one the other night and it looked awful, but I think I know what I need to do to make it not look awful. So that's what we're going to try and accomplish today. So just got this cut and like right here. I made it with a bamboo and it was super, super slinky, super comfy for her, I guess. I don't know, but I need something a little stronger to put this together. And I also 
for the life of me, could not find my other plugins for like my serger and my cover stitch. So I found them. They're exactly where CJ was like, maybe it's there. I was like, no, it's not. I checked. Well, I double checked. It was there. Um, so I'm cutting this out on the fold and I love using the clips. I've always loved using clips to help hold my fabric in place. And when I only need to cut one, um, I keep it clipped. I could be blurry. I really hope, oh yeah, those rainbow floral. Yeah, someday I'll, I really hope someday we can order like tons of different prints all at once, but it's just space. It's so hard in my house. Um, and I can't find the perfect location. Like I want to offer classes and I want to have space for everything. I want to get like three more employees probably. But I think it would be super fun to hire like some local sewing buddies. I don't know. Who, whoever. Okay. I gotta focus. I'm making a blur just focus. See anyone else just randomly quote movies? It's putting me at 144. I just want to switch baby to 720. Huh, weird. Kira, I just have to say, every time I see your live streams, I'm like, she's so professional. <laughs> uh, Aslan, I know, right? It's so funny. When I'm with my sisters, it's just like quoting movies back and forth at each other. And then I'm with people that are like, yeah, I don't really pay attention to movies that much. I'm like, what? It's fine. Just means you can have a conversation with like actual words instead of movie quotes, which is probably better. Um, Jess from Oakla Roots released a tutorial today for the bomb.com beauty bag and I'm really excited. That's one that I don't make often. So like making a tutorial that actually was better than what's already there has been on my list but hasn't been able. Oh, Janice says that me and my sisters are the same. People around us say we have our own language. Yeah, that... Sounds about right for sisters. That's the best though. Oh, it's so bright and pretty. I love it. Um, and this was actually a watercolor drawing that I did over Christmas, probably. Oh, Jess did a good job. That's exciting. She always does. I'm so glad you're selling the watercolor roses. It took me so young, long to finally cut into the art and a half I had. Oh, thank you, Brittany. I'm so glad you like it. I, it's so awesome that there's like more and more sewing channels out there. They're addicting to watch. Some, my favorite to watch is Nicole from Sonar. And I think it's because, like, I've met her in real life. And it's just, like, hanging out with her again. I don't know. I'm a little creeper. Um, but if you haven't checked out her channel, you should. And also say a little prayer for her doggo. Like, I watched her latest video on the Sil, Sil Leather, Sil Leather from um, Fabric Funhouse, I believe. And she talked about her dog in the end. And I could not stop crying. <laughs> I'm smiling, but I'm crying at the same time. Like, you know how it is when it's awkward and you're just like, I'm going to cry about it now. Okay, bye. All right. Cutting out the sleeves. Uh, 
Um, I am cutting out the six to nine month size. Um, this is, this is funny. So actually I bought this pattern, I think before Dorothy was born and I printed out the newborn size. And I've just had it been sitting forever. Um, the leather actually looks very similar to some fabrics that, um, Bodio sells as well. So she recommends Fabric Funhouse and their quirk is pricey, but so good. I got their black and it was awesome. No cracking. Yeah. I bought a ton after watching her video too. And I was like, I'm going to use this. I haven't because it's so expensive <laughs> that I'm like terrified to cut into it. Like I'm going to mess it up. Okay. All that I have left to cut out is this last sleeve. I already um, used my rotary cutter to cut out all the binding. Am I cutting this on the grain or not? I don't know. We'll find out. Luckily this has two way stretch, so it's fine. There's my sleeves, there's my skirt, there's my binding, my pile. And then I'm gonna fold this back up. You should always clean your workspace when you're done. When we were cutting this out earlier, I was like, oh my gosh, I wish I had this fabric like 10 years ago so I could make my parents' curtains <laughs> for their kitchen. Um, oh, yeah, it probably has, it says Brindle and Twig pattern number 82. So, I'm not really sure the name. Here's all the zipper tape ready for Wednesday. Pinky's up. Okay. I was like, how am I going to carry this all? Hi, Caitlin. Um, let's just show you all the zipper tape. Whoa, let's spin around. <sighs> so this little hallway is where my dad stands and we yell at him. <laughs> all right, we need, we need a Connor nickel pack. Connor rainbow. <laughs> Uh, the zipper tape is available now. I think there's still tons available, so we're doing good on how much we're ordering. And in case you're wondering who Connor is, he's that old man there. The Conwall. <laughs> um, hardware update. I have 39 boxes coming. <sighs> However, it's going to take 45 days to get here, so... Whatever hardware we have now is what we have. All that's coming um, via FedEx, because I was like, okay, but I'm out of this and I need you to send it, is um, black nickel, one inch snap hooks, and handcrafted nameplates. So, there you go. All right, let's see if I can get this set up to where you guys can see anything but my avocado pants. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if I should set the camera up the other way so you don't see me, but I can see the comments still. Do you think that's a good idea? Ben is here too. Anywhere the baby isn't, they are. Um, so I don't have much space right now for new hardware, new colors, etc. So matte black isn't something that I plan on carrying right now, maybe in the future when we get like a dedicated space, but right now we do not have dedicated space. Okay. And like, I'd love to carry zipper 
more often, but we, we have to keep it in, in short bursts. We just, it's not something we can do all the time. <laughs> ben is a good big brother, yeah. He's all right. Most of the time when Dorothy's crying, he's like, are you guys gonna do something about this? Cause it's annoying me. And we're like, dude, same. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, Deborah said she got three packs of zipper tape. We're excited to ship it out. Okay. Hi, Angela. All right, I'm gonna get started. Sorry if I miss any comments. I'm also trying to remember how to sew this. I, it shouldn't be too hard. Okay. I'm gonna hold off on my long sleeves. I need to start with my shoulder stabilizers and I need to trim my shoulders as well. Okay, that's my skirt. Okay, so I need to be consistent here. I need to trim same corners. No, I don't need to trim that one. I just need to trim this one. Boink. Aw, thank you. Yes, um, I'm glad you commented, um, Kayla. Oh, yay, Inga, I'm so glad you grabbed it. Um, I signed up finally to teach at the So Magical Expo. It's um, October 8th through the 10th. Um, we're just gonna do the peekaboo beauty, the, the, the peekaboo beauty bag um, because it's fairly quick. But I think it'll be super fun. And I'm so excited. I think I need to sew them at the same spot or is it the opposite? Oh, that's the back. I've already messed this up. It's fine. So long as they're in the same spot. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> oh my gosh, that would be so fun. Yeah, it's Kat's birthday who's also teaching and yeah, oh my gosh. That would be so fun. All right, so I'm going to very poorly cover stitch this now. Oh, wrong pedal. Yep, I've already messed this up. It's fine. Um, so you don't need a cover stitch, but it's recommended. I'll show you the difference between the stitches. A cover stitch doesn't cut and a serger does, but you can't make a finished item, to my knowledge, with a cover stitch. Like, it's just like final touches. But you could achieve the same thing with a twin needle and a zigzag stitch, um, but I don't have a machine with a zigzag stitch. So this is what a cover stitch does. There's the back, oh, I've already messed it up. Dorothy won't care. Um, and then there's those two lines. But then a serger, um, I'll show you after I put this together. I need to serge this here. Okay, I really gotta keep these petals far away from each other. A serger cuts and does that. Hope, hope that was helpful. <laughs> All right, so these are my sleeves. Goodbye. This is my neck hole. This is the bottom. Okay. There's so much pressure remember how to do this. All right, so right now I'm adding the neck binding and this is where I really messed up last time. So I'm gonna try and focus. Cause 
this got this has to go all the way around and you stretch the binding but not the neck hole and that's how you get binding to look decent I think making kids items is much easier than sewing for adults because like a kid isn't gonna tell you, well a baby anyway, is gonna be like, this is uncomfortable. <laughs> so they'll scream, they'll let you know. But I mean like, if a seam is kind of off, it's not, she's not gonna care. She doesn't know. <laughs> attached and then this just gets folded over and cover stitched and this is where I severely messed up last time so I'm gonna take my sweet time and clip this down so basically what you're doing is folding that seam up and then folding this over top And last time I like tried to do it all at once without clipping anything, wouldn't recommend. At least not for a first try. <laughs> Baby was sleeping, but she is no longer sleeping. That's okay. Dad said he's got her. Mama needs a minute. Okay, so now I want to attach my sleeves. Honestly, I feel like I did pretty good here. I'm not mad. Oh no, it's almost nine. <laughs> it's almost bath time. And I always yell at CJ when he's like doing stuff and it's bath time. I've become that person. All right, so I'm going to quickly kind of finish the, I honestly, I don't think this is gonna take that long. So I'm adding the 
binding to the sleeves. And you can kind of batch do this and then do all of your cover stitching. Honestly, I think I prefer more of a cuff on a sleeve just because I like the finish of it better, but I don't have the energy to do that right now, basically. Okay, so fold that over, and then you could zigzag. just looking at the camera and I was like, oh no, it's almost bath time. <laughs> okay, I should be able to finish this. Okay. I probably won't get the snaps on, but nobody cares. Nicole asked if I plan to put her in daycare. So I was actually looking for like a nanny. I haven't found one. I don't know that I have the energy to drive to daycare and then drive back home to work. So for now, I watch her and work. Sideways, baby. <laughs> daycare is right downtown. It's like two minutes away. Oh, there is that one. Yeah, I was thinking more like La Petite though. Where's that at? Uh, by Whiteside School. It's far enough. I drive 45 to an hour every day, twice a day. Couldn't do it. When my son was three, he started early pre-K and oh my God, I love him to death, but it was the best thing ever. Yeah, I will definitely do like early pre-K for sure. All that good stuff. But like right now, I'm just like, I wanna hang out with you. <laughs> I wanna see you throughout the day. Not you, CJ, but her. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I bet. Daycares are super fun. All right, where'd my other sleeve go? Did I drop it? Yeah, I dropped it. Okay, so on this sleeve, you like make it line up. Pre-K is good. Yeah, prep for being around other kids, I agree. I would probably start like a drop-off daycare when I have like a storefront type or when she's at the age where I want to socialize her a little bit more. But it's also right now like pandemic, kind of scary. What do we do? All right, adding the other sleeve. Doing the world's most mediocre job.
the top. Okay, so we've got both sleeves attached and the front and back are done. So now we're gonna fold this in half, lining up the sleeves. Oh, CJ, when I'm almost done, can we put it on her? Maybe. I'm gonna see her. Okay, clipping, and then down one side, ending at the other. that's not a TV show. I mean, if it's something you put on your TV, it's, isn't that technically a TV show? There's no studio lighting here, though. There's no paid actresses, actors. They practically have commercials now. Yeah, that's so true. And like YouTube decides where commercials go. I don't. I've had people complain before, like, uh, there's too many commercials. I'm unsubscribing. I'm like, I mean, that's fine. I understand. But I didn't put them here. Okay. I'm going to tie those off. Probably an easier way to do it. Whatever. <laughs> YouTube Premium is the way. Yeah. CJ has that too. Mm -hmm. So that gets like clipped together later on. This already looks way better than the last one I made. Okay. So then I'm going to do the skirt really quick and then put the front and back together and then add my binding on the other one. Wait, that's my front. Um, it has you add binding to two pieces and then you put it together and it just doesn't look very clean to me, so I'm not going to do that. Hi, Brittany. Ooh. 
Okay, so now I need to cover stitch the hem of this. I think I want that to be the bottom. And I'm not going to worry about how perfectly folded over this is at all. Oh, wrong pedal. <laughs> Full video. So I'm just going to fold a section. to stop a cover stitch so I just trail off the edge. Oh. Okay. So then this gets sewn to that but I'm gonna try and ruffle it a little bit. I trail off too. Okay great. <laughs> All right where's the lettuce stitch situation? There we go. Lettuce stitch. at all but it's fine so this goes right sides to that line up the hem and I'm going to attach my skirt first just because I don't have it very well done I'm just gonna kind of pleat it It'll work out just fine. That's what I did on the other one. Ain't nobody got time for gathering. <laughs> what toy does she have? The little bee thing that goes on her wrist. <laughs> Uh, right now I'm using a 1634D serger and a cover stitch machine. So both of these are good for clothing making, um, but I actually use my serger to make tote bags as well. Not this one, this one's all set up for knits, so. Um, what time does Dorothy go to bed and wake up? So her natural like awake and sleep times are like 11 a.m. and 11 p.m. She's just a little night owl. Um, and I have an app called Huckleberry that has been incredible. We had so many issues with getting her to sleep and it's because we weren't putting her down like during her best wake windows. So thankfully my sister helped me out. Um, both of these are the brand Brother. They're the oh. lowest models that I found more or less affordable. Maybe not the lowest quality or anything. Okay, so I'm gonna use some of these clips. I'm gonna start in one location and then clip the rest when I get there. And I'm just attaching this now, kind of like facing it, and then I'll add the bottom. Oh, 
and then COVID happened and it was expensive, yeah, with everybody sewing at home. She's <laughs> like, it's my bath time. attach the bottom really quick. This is my front and the front is shorter. And then this gets placed inside like this. So that way when it's folded down, no. Wrong sides together, that's right. What time is it, babe? It is 9.10. I'm almost done. I'll finish it later. Okay, so I'm clipping it just to make sure. But yeah, the skirt comes down, that's the front, and then this. <laughs> Can I do it wrong? Yeah, like Kira said, you can turn the knife off on this so you don't have to cut. I like it myself. Okay, there we go. And so I'm, um, you want to make sure that you catch all your little thread worms as well. Start with your knife up. I'm just going to make sure I'm only sewing through those layers. Still hoping I've done this correctly. If not, just be a little shorter, it's fine. Can we try it on her really quick? What? Okay. Get her naked, and then I'll bring this over there. We don't need a naked baby on YouTube. Okay, so for the binding, I'm gonna do the whole thing at once. I was looking at another onesie we have. I was like, how is that done? So then I'll cover stitch it on and then add the snap. So 
then as I'm coming back here, oh, I'll fold this over like that. Fold that back up. I probably should have started like that, but whatever. See what it looks like on her. Mother. Here, let me get my hair from you. Okay. What's up, you? Hi. Hi, pretty girl. Sunshine. <laughs> you look like sunshine. It'd be better with snaps. <laughs> we pull it down in the front. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Nailed it. This is so a little... Well, no, it gets snapped together. Oh, okay. You add snaps and then it closes. What do you think? It looks cute. So I'm gonna eat it. All right, that was the that was the live. Thanks, guys, for watching. Hope you have a good night. Dorothy's gonna go take a bath now.